You did not say I that. I did. I said the judge sealed his rectum. <laughs> and the guy on the floor, <laughs> you hear this laughter. He falls down. He falls down on the floor. Look whose turn it is to do the interview. <laughs> this is weird being on this side. <laughs> this is bizarre. Yes. So in case you don't know me, I'm Randy. Not everybody knows me. This is, uh, yeah. this is Monkey Wrench Mike. You guys may have seen him interviewing me. I put, You know what? I posted that video on, on YouTube and mm -hmm. nobody watched it. I thought I thought my subscribers would be like, yeah, Randy, good for you. No. No. no it's like, is there a car in this video? Yeah. So what we're here to talk about today is this is Mike from... Mm -hmm. Ooh, channel 25. Fox 25 for another couple of weeks. For another couple of weeks. <laughs> and then you're moving to Tulsa, right? Then I'm going to Tulsa. Yeah. Where we can still be friends. Yeah, because he's still in Oklahoma. And they do have a co-part there. Yeah. And they do have an LKQ over there. So I can be your Tulsa car parts getter guy. Perfect. See? And you know what? I'm supposed to be bidding on a car right now. Is it 12? It is. Tell me it's not 12. No, you got 25 minutes. 25 minutes. <laughs> This is the most unprofessional interview ever. Tell Our, them what the camera is sitting on. <laughs> this camera is literally sitting on a garbage can. It's a 32 gallon hyper tough Walmart special trash can. So we don't, and, mm -hmm. and I'm in the pink chair mm -hmm. and he's in, these are our fishing chairs. There's, yeah. <laughs> look at all the cigarettes. <laughs> Neither one of us smokes. So. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I thought it'd be fun to interview Mike and talk about what it's like to do what he does on the news because I've never. I've never had an opportunity to do something like that mm -hmm. before. And I noticed, and I'm sure you guys noticed too, like when you watch news, everybody's always so happy. Like, like everybody's just, it's, yes, yeah, see, I can yeah. already tell from his facial yeah. expressions, yeah. it's a crock, man. Oh, and you get to wear makeup. I do. So and the older I get, the more I, I get to wear too. So yeah. What's that yeah. like? What's the makeup experience the makeup, like? The do you sit there and someone comes over and... and only in big markets, like only like New York, Los Angeles, Boston, oh, okay. Chicago, you know, the top five markets. So we markets. don't get that here. Um, I was in Atlanta, which is a top nine market. We didn't have a makeup person. Oklahoma City is like a 45, 45th largest. We don't have a makeup person. So you're, it's the guys doing their own makeup. So how do you know what to do with your makeup? Like, you, what do you suppose, what do you even need makeup for? What, 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 what? With the cameras these days, and the old school cameras, you could get away with just like some powder, but now that everything is HD, it's Where much you can different. See every... You can see every wrinkle, yeah. every pimple, every whatever you got on your face. So you gotta, you gotta hide all that stuff. That is so fake. Yeah, it Are is. Are you telling me the new fake news? Oh, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot I'm of I'm just kidding. A lot of it isn't what you see on the camera. I'm so, just yeah, kidding. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. crazy though. I mean, people have blemishes all the time. Naturally. So mm -hmm. you think, I mean, okay. Okay. So what is it like? <laughs> what is it like working for the new, like, like, where did you start? Where did you get okay. your start? When did you decide you wanted to do the news? Okay. Like, wow. Well, I was actually, um, we, my wife and I were living in Fort Lauderdale at the time and I was a commercial actor. I was doing commercials for like Nordic track and Toyota and Budweiser and all that. Well, you were the guy stuff. on the, I was the Nordic track guy on the machine <laughs> doing that. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. And in acting, you're hot or you're not. So I had I had some real good time as a really hot commercial actor, and then I went flat. Right. And so I thought, well, what else can I do? And I've always always wanted to do the news. So we moved back to Stillwater, Oklahoma, from Fort Lauderdale. I went back to OSU to get the internship, and then I interned in Tulsa, and then I got my first job in Big Topeka, Kansas. Yeah. And what you want to do is get in bigger and bigger markets because your salary. You know, it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. So I went from Topeka, Kansas to Lexington, Kentucky to Orlando, Florida. And these were all morning anchor spots. And then I decided, well, let's see what it's like as an evening anchor guy because there's more money in evenings. Okay. So we went to Harlingen, Texas. Have you ever been down to the Rio Grande Valley down by uh -huh. South Padre? Uh -uh. Well, I've been to You're South Padre. You're on the border. Been down there. You're on the border. Yeah. Okay. So it was a gringo actually doing news and they wanted me to speak Spanish and I don't speak Spanish. So that we, could be we were there for a while. Yeah, we did that for three years. And then I went to Atlanta for three years, which is a top nine market. So that was like, oh my God, you made it to the top nine market. And then I quit the business like an idiot. I said, I didn't want to do this anymore. They wanted me to stay and I quit and we moved down to Florida. Mm -hmm. down to can, you, can you talk about why you quit? Um, went through a divorce and all of that. So life kind of hit me pretty hard. Uh, my wife moved out and she left me and my oldest daughter there in Atlanta and she took the youngest daughter 
and moved to Florida. And then I decided, okay, I'm going to quit everything and I'm going to devote everything to the family. Right. We're going to do all of this because that's what that's what you know you do. Yeah. Um, and so we did that, and it didn't it didn't work out, and she moved out again, and so we went through the divorce. And then I did, had a chance to come back to Oklahoma City because I was raised here in Oklahoma. Right. So Oklahoma City called and they said, come back and do the news. And I said, heck yeah. And so it's been seven years in wow. Oklahoma. So. so you've been doing the news with uh, 25 for seven years seven now. Seven years. And why are you so, going to Tulsa then? Because they don't want me to do the news here in Oklahoma City anymore. And that's how it goes. That's how it goes. That's literally, you, you can work somewhere seven years. Yeah. And, and you, get, you get a new general manager, you get a new boss. They want to bring their own people in for whatever reason. And they say goodbye. And then you've got to find another job which is hard because you know how many how many doctors or lawyers or teachers or whatever are in every city right how many evening news anchors are there four it's got to be a, a, a cut yeah. growth type it's tough it's, yeah. it's a huge pyramid you know so you start off down here at the bottom and it's just survival of the fittest by the time you get to the top it's, so do you get like a yearly contract or or is yes. it just like any job where you have a job until they decide they don't want you anymore you want you want a three-year contract but a lot of the stations aren't doing that anymore so now it's a lot of them are just going year to year and they're not very fair contracts and they can get rid of you for any reason it's a crazy business it is a crazy crazy business so yeah who would have thought? I didn't know the news was like that. You know, I mean, I turn on the news, I see the same people yeah. all the time, or at least you used to. Used I remember to. Linda Cavanaugh yep. from way back in the day, and, and we had Mike Morgan and Gary England. Everybody knows Gary England. If you're in Oklahoma, even if you're a surrounding, anybody in the country probably yeah. knows who Gary England right. is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I guess he, he his job security was... He got uh, old. Yeah. So what happens? They brought in the younger guy from another channel and they paid him did a lot he of money to take over. Did yeah. Gary England retire? He did. Yeah. They gave him another position at that station, which was kind of just honorary, and then he, yeah. he just, he left, yeah. Yeah, that similar thing happened to me too, recently, yeah. where I had a job that I thought was a nice, cushy job, and everything was good until one day, you know, I woke up and I got a phone call saying, hey, yeah, you know, sorry, but you don't have a job anymore. But. I better not get into any more. Yeah. <laughs> I could talk about Thank that Thank you for, for your service. We'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. 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 Crazy. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to Tulsa. And what, are you, what, what are you doing in Tulsa? Are you gonna, uh, tell me you're going to be a weather anchor. Anchor. No, I wish. Ah. I wish. Although I did do that a couple of stations ago. I, I started out doing weather. I don't know anything about what? it. What? I would actually, I'd, <laughs> I'd actually watch the weather channel, and I would watch what they said, and then I would just regurgitate it. This was Are in, you kidding this, me? This was in Topeka and Lexington, absolutely. How many years yeah. did you get away with this? Well, it was about a year in Topeka and six months in Lexington. So you didn't And know, then they switched me to news. You didn't know anything about the weather? No. You just no. watched the Weather Channel and then repeated it. Yeah. How do you do that green screen? Isn't it, or is that yeah. how it goes? A big green? How do you know? I've always wondered, like when you see them pointing at stuff and they hit it right on the mark. Yeah. How do you know where Oklahoma City is on that giant green there screen? There are TV screens off to the side but it's backwards, so you have to learn if you want to point this way, you have to point that way. It's it's reversed. How long does it take really you to get used to that? A while, it really takes a while, and then you'll turn, oh, it's over on this side, and you turn, oh wait, no, which, which side, and then you go over here. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a mess, but I did I did weather, yeah, for a what's while. Your, what's your most memorable story of all, <laughs> all the interviews, all the, I'm sure you've seen some yeah. crazy things out there as well, like what's the most memorable experience doing the news? It was a it was a slip of the tongue in Lexington, Kentucky. And Ooh, it was, it's gonna be good. This is really good. This was the school shootings. Michael Carneal, you know, this is Columbine. This is serious stuff. And so here's Mike in Lexington. And I was supposed to say the judge sealed his records. Okay, when you seal records, no one can get right. inside and they can't see what's going on. I didn't say records. I said rectum. I said, the judge. You did not say I that. I did. I said, the judge sealed his rectum. <laughs> and the guy on the floor, <laughs> you hear this laughter. He falls down. He falls down on the floor. The, the other morning anchor, Beth, was there. And she was like, <laughs> like that. And then we start laughing. <laughs> and we was can't it live? That. This was live. Oh, my God. And we start laughing. And we can't even finish the sentence. And so we had literally had to go to commercial. <laughs> And I was falling out of my chair. I was laughing so hard. The judge sealed his rectum. 
And I thought, I thought I was fired. I thought I was history after that. People were calling the station laughing. That's the funniest thing I've seen on TV in my whole his life. He sealed his rectum. Well, I so after the show, do. after the show, I, I I met the news director of the hall. He was coming yeah. down to look. He was looking for me, and I thought, Oh God, he here was. we go. I said, Was this my last day? And he said, No, that was great. That was what? good TV. He said, We have so many people who have called the station laughing because of that. He said, That's okay. You're fine. Just be yourself and keep doing that. Okay. The station celebrated being on air for 50 years. I had left the station 10 years prior to that. They still had that clip, and they aired that clip on their anniversary special that aired during primetime news, and people still remembered it. You made Ten that years big later. of an impact. Yeah, yeah. It, I have it on YouTube as well. So Is, yeah. It's on your channel? It's, it's on YouTube. It's not under Monkey it's, Wrench Mike. It's, it's on YouTube. Yeah, I can I can send you the clip. It's pretty funny. Okay, he's going to send funny. me the clip. I'm going to put that clip <laughs> in the description of this video, so click the, that. The judge sealed his rectum. All-time greatest. Favorite blooper that we have here at the LEX 18. This involves uh, former Sunrise anchors uh, Michael Brooks and Beth Pugh. Michael has a slip of the tongue. He mispronounces a phrase. Now, the phrase is supposed to be sealed his records he wants to seal carneal's rectum re records from the seventh through the ninth grade now the attorney representing the family is paging dr freud line one dr freud line one potential for committing violence and take a look at some other news you know everyone knows counterfeiting does not fake. <laughs> i'm sorry but the confiscated products can still go to good use especially if they're earmarked for the <laughs> i know it's okay let me help you Beth, bless her heart, she's trying to help him out the best she can. The crew, on the other hand, is in hysterics. Uh, some of them are laying on the floor. Others have just gone home. There's no point in continuing. Michael is seeing his career flash in front of his eyes. Right now, he's thinking, if I could get it together, I really need to update my resume because it doesn't look good from here on out. <laughs> Sorry. Now, that is funny. <laughs> you know what? It's a race against time. For a Lexington drugstore that's a trip back in time. <laughs> that's right, and as photojournalists. <laughs> oh, photojournalist Scott Moore shows us it's the end of an era for a unique experience. More uh, LEX 18 bloopers coming up in a moment as we continue with our 50th anniversary celebration. Yeah. I would. I wish we saw some of that on the news here. Uh, yeah. You know, the news well, here is just kind of. We had a goof in Oklahoma City, but we got in trouble for it. We were doing a story about um, Vladimir Putin, which is a funny last name, anyway. Yeah. Okay. And then the next story was um, Wendy had a, a she sl a slip of the tongue, and she didn't say capital, she said crapital. Mm -hmm. So during during a sound bite, I turned to Wendy and I said, "I wonder what would happen if Putin went to the capital." And she started to laugh. And I started to laugh, and then we had to do another story about some dogs that had died and someone that had got attacked in jail, and we're laughing through that. We're laughing hysterically as oh, we're no. trying to give serious news. That did not go over as well as it did in Lexington, and we actually got in some pretty bad trouble for that. So, so what Wendy happens and I, when you get in trouble? Well, the news director calls you into his office the next day and says, hey, listen, you guys can't do that anymore. And we actually had someone call and gripe because oh, we're, we were laughing through that, but... You know, judge sealing a rectum is okay, but you can't. Right, you can't have crapital. Putin in the capital. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hand to God that happened. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a crazy business, but yeah. So how does everybody keep a straight face all the time? <laughs> and everybody seems so serious but so happy. I mean, it's kind of like it. Yeah. Just, it, 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 it. It looks fake. It does. People are just too damn happy watching the news, or, or sorry, not watching the news, making news. Everybody's just... It's changed a lot in the past five years. I mean, it really has. It's completely, completely changed. And now they want, they want the younger people. And what you do is you actually have kind of a smile when you're telling them even the bad news. Yeah. And so even, hey, you know, your mother died today, so we got to tell you about that with a little <laughs> well, bit of a smile. Well, he's good at it. So you got to do it like that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's changed a lot. Dang. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently that's what it's like doing the news. Do you have anything else you want to add to it? Anything no, I, I just want to say thanks to Randy for helping me build this channel because I had I literally had like 10 subscribers 
and then you you started helping me, and it's been phenomenal. So it's a well, lot, I don't it's like a lot of work. I don't like thinking that I've helped him. He's helped me too. He comes out there, and and it gets hot in Oklahoma. <laughs> Believe me, it it does. We're working on doing it earlier in the day now, but uh, he's been out there in the heat and stuff helping me. And you guys love him, and he's great to be around. Like it makes being out, you know, being miserable outside in the heat a lot more bearable. It's enjoyable instead of just being out there and really hating what you do. So I appreciate you well, helping me as well. So it's a two-way street company. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, speaking of the news, he's got to go do the news right now. Mm -hmm. Why do you go in so started. early? Well, I go in at one because I don't. I work until ten thirty, so my eight hours are one one thirty to ten thirty. Is that all live? Um, yeah, we go live from five to six, and then live from nine to ten and ten to ten thirty. It's live. Yeah, so hopefully we won't have any. Putin at the Crapitals or sealed <laughs> rectums tonight maybe, on the news. Maybe he's going to screw up something on the news. I mean, hey, your contract's over anyway, right? Who cares anymore? Yeah, and you got a new job lined up already, so you can pretty much do whatever you want. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Monkey Wrench Mike. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, I'm going to have a link in the description to that as well. On top of that, that, that funny yeah. video. What was I already for? What it was? It wasn't Putin at the Capitol. It was no, uh, the judge. Uh, the seal is rectum. Seal is rectum. I'll, I'll send yeah. you the clip, and you can you can you can insert it in this because it's 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 gold. It's it's hilarious. All right. Well, Mike, thank you. I thank appreciate you. it, man. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. And uh, stay safe out there, buddy. We will catch you very soon in the next one.